to this is this is a uh, spot where we had a licking stick last year this is a pond that we put in um, fresh last year this was all dirt and these deer just ran this berm now the water's real high um, there's also some white oaks in here there's some red oaks too and the white oaks that were up here last year had acorns and they dropped and the deer were just in here steady now we've got a, a hang on stand there we just we got food pot up above it big beans we just the beans got tall and we just put strips in of new beans um, to keep them green through bow season but now what i want to do is this spot i know they're going to come to because of the water you can't cover this water hole with one camera well so this licking stick really did a nice job for us last year. So we're gonna, we're actually just changing it out. Um, you can see that soil is pretty soft. That ground is pretty soft. I can almost push it in by hand. So there's the first stake, second stake. And then I've been using one of those dripper bottles all morning. You'll notice I did bed that down in and it holds pretty good. Um, but I used a dripper bottle. It's the best way I think to get the scent on, but I did four licking sticks so far and I've used up four ounces. So I usually go an ounce to two ounces per time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up and show you this is the bottle you're gonna get it's gonna be pressurized, there'll be a sticker on it that says open it slowly. There's pressure on it, you gotta open it slow. And you can hear that fizzing. A lot of times you gotta close it back up or it potentially will foam over. The best way to store this is in cool conditions. Don't put this in real hot spots. Shake it up as little as possible, store it in as cool of a spot as possible, but you slowly crack it and release it and you'll see that pressure releasing off of it. Then I can get to the point where I can open it up, put it into my application bottle. Ooh. So, but it's just, it's the extra bottle that comes with it for your application, I think they're two ounces. So now I gotta get a new tree for this. So I'm gonna look to find one now. Last year, this is the tree I had in it. I just pulled it out. This is what was left of it. I probably could have left that. You can see I had to whittle it down to get it in. I probably could have left it in there. They really liked it and it hung, it laid, you know, it almost sat like this. So that's why I put one up earlier today that was kind of crooked and I'm just gonna leave it and see what it does. But I'm gonna take it out and restart it for this year. You know what, this one right here, maybe I take this one in here from about here up. So, see if I can get that cut off. nice and straight anyway it cuts really easy I think this is basswood and last year what they did was when I put this down here to start out with I actually put it on the other side of the pond because this pond wasn't here yet this berm wasn't here this was a pond it washed out so we had a dozer come in and re-berm it and make it a lot deeper and so I put a basswood in here and in the first day or two I had, a, I had does and fawns come in and I had put the scent on it and they ate just about every leaf off of it. So whatever it was, they liked it. But that was interacting. That was touching it with their saliva glands and their nasal glands. And next thing you know, more and more and more deer and then all of them are doing it. So it's that snowball effect. So this is plenty tall. I'm gonna actually put it in just to see what it does balance wise. It's probably gonna be too tall and I'll have to adjust it, but we call that trimming it out. So I'm just gonna put these thumb screws back, see if that's the right size right off the bat. Could use a little trimming because it is just a tiny bit crooked there. So if I actually cut it off, 
at the straight spot, I think it'll go. Whatever this wood is, it cuts really easy. Now that it's straight, it should go. It does. Put it all the way to the bottom. Boy, and look at that, it doesn't really lean that awful. So I'm gonna put these, tighten these up. And then I'm gonna start trimming. Don't need these down here. Don't need, I'm gonna see what it does. See it, you can see the way it's leaning, so it's heavy onto this side. I don't need this. So, let me try this. That alone helped. I don't need this, but I am gonna leave it just because those does and fawns, those first couple days, ate every leaf off of that basswood when I first put it in. So I'm gonna leave as many leaves on this one as I can, as long as it balances well, which it is right now. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna scent it up. Real good. This one has a lot of area that I can put it on. I can put it on the leaves. And it'll drip right off. I also am gonna make sure I put it on the main. I got like this big split on it, so put a bead down that. Put a bead here. And I think one thing that's interesting, and I'm realizing it after putting in five of these now, six of these now today, putting them up is extremely quick. It's finding the tree. It's trimming the tree, which you're not carrying a tree in. You just gotta find one in the woods, so it's pretty convenient. I think if you if it if your tree isn't working well, just put a new one in. I don't if I come back to this and I don't have any action on it, which I'm almost I'm certain I will. This is this was an awesome spot last year for us. If I don't, I'll cut another tree and I'll put a different kind of tree in it and try another one. But it's super quick. It's super easy to anchor it, and I can put it anywhere I want. I've got the setup right here that holds my camera my battery and my solar power perfectly. So I, I can, if, if I wanted to, that, that's where I gotta put the camera, so I can put this wherever it fits in front of it. So you don't always have the spot to put it exactly where you want it if you're looking for it naturally. Well, I can put this anywhere. So if I find a good spot with the camera, I can make sure that this works in front of it. So. I like this set, this is just an awesome spot. It'll be real interesting to see. It's a spot that we're thinking about hunting early probably this year. That's gonna get a lot of pictures. Now that it's straight, it should go. Real good. 